Hi guys, and this is the part number 7 of the Cisco Packet Tracer tutorial. How in making a network topology tutorial, and in the last tutorial, in the previous tutorial, which is the part 7, I have uh, already as, um, tested the connection for the LANs. I already tested connections right here, and it is successful from here to here. This is successful from here to here but if I will try to connect this network to this network it will not work and also this one vice versa so to do to to connect uh, different networks like this that is a network that is a network and this is a network so you must IP route to connect that network to here and you must IP route to connect this network right here and vice versa so what is an IP route an IP route is an umbrella term of for the set of protocols that determine the path that data flows in order to travel across multiple network from its source to its destination data is routed from its route source to its destination through a series of routers and across the multiple network so this we ha as you can see we have multiple networks and if I were going to try to connect this network to this network we have to IP route that because it is a different router so th this network is connected to this router so this router is uh, the you will need to um, configure that router to IP route so to connect this network on the rest of the network right here if you want to connect that right here and of course on this router and in this router you have to IP route that so first I will connect um, this router to this network so I will connect this router this network so use this network in the IP route so I will go into IP route in the CLI I will going to use commands there are two ways to IP route you can have you can use the config and the static route you can use that and you can also use the CLI which is um, you can use the CLI so I will use the CLI so in the CLI go um, let's just click this router I will go in uh, let's say if I will going to connect this router to this network so let's IP route this click this router and if you're on the um, this is on the the privilege mode uh, I mean the global mode so exit that and this is the privilege mode and uh, just ENA to enable you can just type ENA or enable it depends on you and config D and IP route use the network address so the network address is here so use that and one nine two one nine two dot one six eight dot o one nine two dot one six eight dot um that is Alice four point zero as you can see four point zero four point zero and then the subnet mask yes two five five dot two five five dot zero so an IP address has a corresponding uh, subnet mask and if you don't know that you can search that or just take a look in this picture so I am using a class C um, IP address so if you're using the same as mine as you can see there are different ranges and if you're using um, that ranges uh, if you're uh, just basically look 
where your IP address belongs to but I recommend you to use a 192 IP address so enough for that and back to the um, CLI and next with uh, the subnet mask is the interface that is your next hub so the interface is right here that is your interface because um, this router will g pass by into this port and then that port is your um, interface that you will be using for the next hub and that is the serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 and find that in your router click the router again and Z serial se0 slash 1 slash 1 and enter and IP route again IP route so let's just test that out and test this out send packets data and as you can see it is now successful but if you were going to send data on packets data on this second computer it is also successful so but if you will send packets data from here to here it is failed so as you can see it is failed it, that is failed so um, let's just delete that first and what you're basically gonna do is do the same thing IP route and basically use this um, use this network address so use that network address that is 192.168.3.0 so go back in your router so for that click that on the uh, router click on the router and go on a CLI and IP route IP just do the same process as last time but you're gonna be having a different um, network address so 192.168.3.0 so let me check that so as you can see oh sorry for that as you can see that is 3.0 and you must use 3.0 on your router so as you can see it is 3.0 route and 255.255.255.0 and the serial is the serial interface is um, the let's just move it to see the label so as you can see see se0 slash 1 slash 0 move that back in to here so just go to the router so click that and se0 it has it is on the different serial port slash 1 slash 0 and enter and also if you going to try that and as you can see it is now successful and if you want to try this like here it is not successful though because it's on a different network so that, that is the network address use that that is 2.0 IP route 192.168.2.0 and then the subnet mask the same subnet, subnet mask because we are the same class of the IP and the serial port is basically the same because it will that is the serial port right there and enter and 
as we try to send packets data it will now be successful and as you can see it is now successful that's the good thing guys so what if I wanna going to connect this ra this computer to this PC it is still failed because I did not IP route this router to this network I did not IP route this router to this network so IP route that do the the, the, the process is basically the same go in a CLI tab enter ENA to enable or just type enable just it's just the same guys conf t and uh, IP route route 192 the network address 192.168.1.0 and as you can see it is the network address that we use and then the subnet mask the zero and then the serial port or the serial interface or the port is is right here so that is the serial was one slash one se one zero slash one slash one zero slash zero slash one slash one enter and i and i will go into ip route so if we try to, to connect this computer from here to here is now successful so as we can try to connect this from here it's now successful and here to here it is now successful so what if we want to try to connect this to here it is failed so I will just going to be quickly IP routed so just do the same thing IP route 192.168.1.0 the network address is for this network is this so that is 2.0 and then the subnet mask is basically the same 0 and the serial interface is different because it will pass on this port right here right here and this is the serial interface 0 slash 1 slash 0 so se 0 slash 1 slash 0 and as we try to um, send packets data from here to here it is now successful so I think guys I will continue this um, IP routing thing um, because it is basically 13 minutes already and I have a problem with YouTube because I can't upload um, above 15 minutes because I, I I have a copyright issue and the community guidelines issue and I will continue this and that is on the part number um, I think part number nine so um, I, hopefully you see you on the next video so basically click the link in the description below for the part number nine